The Vietnam Veterans Memorial is a national war memorial located in Washington, D.C. and honors the members of the U.S. Armed Forces who served in the Vietnam War. The memorial consists of three separate parts, the Three Soldiers Statue, the Vietnam Women's Memorial, and the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall, which is the most recognized part of the memorial. It is located in Constitution Gardens on the National Mall, just northeast of the Lincoln Memorial, and receives a little over 3 million visitors each year. One common assumption is that the men and women who fought in the Vietnam War were uneducated and didn't know what they were doing. The reality, however, was that these groups of people were more educated than that of World War II, with 80% of the people who enlisted had a high school degree, while only 65% of the men in World War II had a high school degree. Another common assumption is that the war was mostly fought by minority groups like Hispanics and Blacks. This couldn't be farther from the truth. Only 5% of those who were killed in action were Hispanic, and 12.5% were black. A lot of people think that after people left the battlefield, they turned to drugs and were hooked on them for the rest of their life. The truth was that 88% of the people who got hooked on drugs kicked the habit in four years or less. After the war ended, people began to spread rumors throughout themselves and talking about how their experiences in Vietnam had scarred them and turned them to a life of crime, with one-fourth of the prisoners being Vietnam War veterans. However, most of these accounts were based on counterfeit reports. In every major study of Vietnam veterans, where military records were verified, an insignificant number of prisoners were found to be actual Vietnam veterans. A result of the prison myth is the belief that huge numbers of Vietnam veterans are unemployed. A study by the Labor Department in 1994 showed an unemployment rate of 3% for Vietnam veterans. Maya Yin Ling was born in Athens, Ohio, and was the daughter of Henry Huan Lin, who was a ceramist and former dean of the Ohio University College of Fine Arts, and Julia Chang Lin, formerly professor of literature at Ohio University. Maya is the niece of Lin Hui Yin, who was said to be the first female architect in China. While she studied at Yale University, her professor, Andrews Burr, decided that a plan for the Vietnam Memorial would be a good assignment not thinking that any of his students would actually win. When Maya Lin arrived at the site, she said, I sort of visualized it. Some people were playing frisbee. It was a beautiful park. I didn't want to destroy a living park. You use the li landscape and don't fight it. I knew I wanted something horizontal that you took in that made you feel safe at the park. The Three Soldiers, which is also known as the Three Servicemen, is a bronze statue on the Washington, D.C. National Mall honoring the Vietnam War. The grouping consists of three young men, armed and dressed appropriately for the Vietnam War era, which are purposely identifiable as Caucasian, African American, and Hispanic. It was designed to be harmonious with the Vietnam Veterans Memorial by adding a more traditional component. The statue, which was unveiled on Veterans Day 1984, was designed by Frederick Hart, who placed third in the original design competition. The Vietnam Women's Memorial is a memorial that is dedicated to the women of the U.S. who served in the Vietnam War. A lot of these individuals were nurses. It serves as a constant reminder of the great significance of women in the conflict. It depicts three uniformed women with a wounded soldier, and is a part of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. It is located on the mall in Washington, D.C., a short distance south of the wall, facing north of the reflecting pool. Diane Carlson Evans, who served as a nurse in the Army during the Vietnam War, was one of the greatest driving forces for the memorial, and it was designed by Glenna Goodacre and dedicated on November 11, 1993. The memorial wall is the main part of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. It has two walls, and each wall is about 245 feet. It was cut into the hill to blend in with the scenery and to make it a beautiful piece of architecture. The wall has the name of every soldier that was killed in action and every soldier still missing in action in sequential order from 1959, though it was found out later that the first casualties were in 1957 by artillery fire. Even though the Vietnam's Veterans Memorial was probably one of the most controversial memorials in our nation's history, 
it is also probably one of the most individual memorials. Unlike a statue, the wall has personal meaning to everyone since they can find that one name on the wall that has meaning to them.